My research is about selective attention, which is a fundamental cognitive mechanism that the brain is engaging in all the time. It acts to filter the enormous amount of sensory information that you're bombarded with at each moment and prioritise the information that's relevant for your current goal at that moment. So you can imagine if you're driving your car to work in the morning, you're able to listen to the news story on the radio and monitor the road in front of you while screening out the sound of the traffic moving around you and the feeling of your hands on the wheel or the mechanical actions needed to drive the car. If the goal changes, however, if another car pulls out out unexpectedly in front of you, then selective attention will rapidly reorient to prioritise information that informs this new goal of avoiding a collision. In that moment then, the news is still being read on the radio, but you won't hear it because your attention is engaged elsewhere. We ask our participants to make reaching movements in response to visual stimuli and we track the position of their finger as it moves through space using a 3D motion capture camera system that rapidly samples the position of the finger as it moves towards the screen. We're able to then analyse kinematic properties of the subject's reaching movement to tell us something about the way their brain is processing that information. It might inform the way we design traffic signals at intersections or even aircraft cockpit displays to ensure that attention is captured at the critical moment. It might also have implications in the long term for those cognitive disorders in which selective attention can sometimes be dysfunctional. These include areas like subcortical dementia, schizophrenia or even attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Music